What's up guys, got another video review for you. This time we are taking a look at Machine Wars Sandstorm. Um, this guy is from the Machine Wars line, if you don't know what the Machine Wars line is. Uh, it was a line of toys that, that was exclusive to KB Toys in the 90s. Um, they didn't make a ton of figures, it was like 20 or so. But uh, this guy was one of them. Um, you will notice the uh, propeller blades are a little bit floppy. They're a little bit bowed, it must have been stored improperly before I, but before I got it. Uh, I just bought it off eBay. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, some of you probably figure out why I'm reviewing this guy now. And to those who don't know, you'll find out very soon, probably in the next couple of videos. But you can see he's a helicopter. Um, I forget the exact kind of helicopter he is, but uh, he does have this uh, tiger tiger camo de uh, deco. The uh, the stickers on this guy are sparse. It's just how I got him. He's missing most of his stickers. It's supposed to be stickers up here on the on the cockpit and there's supposed to be Autobot logos on his shoulders but unfortunately most of those are missing the MP here for military police is, is uh, tampoed on I believe this one is tampoed on so those are uh, you know those aren't gonna go anywhere but other than that that's basically it on this guy for stickers um, the propellers do spin but because they're bowed a little bit they kind of hit the tail but it does spin and he does have a gimmick with this push this button it deploys his guns, which will kind of look like thrusters. Eh, it is what it is. So yeah, this guy is very similar to G1 in terms of transformation. So the transformation is going to be very, very simple. Um, cockpit doesn't open. You know, fairly simple. Fairly simple figure. But uh, let's get down to transformation. Deploy the gun, the uh, thrusters. Pull them off. Um, what is pretty cool is the thrusters slash guns are keyed to these pegs. See, these two pegs are closer together than these two pegs. So the holes that are closer together go on this side, and the holes that are further apart go on the other side. So you can see that the uh, the holes are actually different distances apart. That's actually pretty neat. That was very uh, that was very cool of them come up with but I uh, just want to collapse the, the, the propeller blades together and you're basically just going to fold down this half flip out the feet um, which way did these go these were supposed to be deployed I'm sorry those were supposed to be deployed out in uh, in vehicle mode like that but they're not the strongest joints anymore so they kind of flop down it was supposed to be like that Anyway, you fold those down, and then you flip out the feet. Come over here to the back, split the rear section. You just extend the legs the rest of the way. It's hard to get this guy on frame because he actually is fairly large. But there's his feet. His feet are locked together, so very G1 in that sense. I'm going to come up here. We're going to flip the cockpit straight down, revealing the head. It doesn't lock, but it more or less stays. Um, the side pieces just clip back up. Fold the arms up. Now these are supposed to peg in. There's a peg here. Goes in the hole right there. This side works pretty good. This side works a lot less good. But what are you going to do again? It's almost 20 years old. And now we can just, what we're going to do is just rotate the, the arm at the shoulder, like that. Again, there's supposed to be Autobot logos right here covering the screw holes. I'll probably just add them and say to hell with the rest of the stickers, but as of now I haven't. Uh, I've seen a lot of pictures with these, with the tail just flipped left up like that, and you can do that. But it looks silly. Um, you just fold it. You can actually fold one side down. Get the. That's probably why the rotors were bent because somebody probably stored it like that. So you really don't want to do that. So that's, I'm sure that's how my rotors got out of whack. But there we basically have Sandstorm in his robot mode. So as far as the guns, 
they do have some regular pegs, so you can just peg them in. And there you go. It works. It's good for what it is. Let me just show you articulation real quick. Not a ton, but better than G1. Nothing at the head. Shoulders have this motion for um, transformation. And he does have 90 degree elbow. Just forward. Um, no forward rotation, just the this up and down for the transformation. Legs, actually he have a forward and a back at the hip. And does have a bend at the knee, but again the legs are locked together. So they are going to move together. And then toes up and down for transformation. I do like this guy's face. Very cool. Very cool. Nice Autobot logo. It's in the um, the clear plastic of the canopy. So yeah, not a ton to say about this guy. Um, he's my only Machine Wars figure. So I have no, no other Machine Wars to compare him to. So I can't say if he's the best Machine Wars figure or even a good Machine Wars figure. But I mean, as a standalone G1 style figure, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Not, he's not a triple changer like the original Sandstorm, but... I hate the fact that the shoulders don't really stay in. But yeah, well, he is leaning. <laughs> he was leaning back. But yeah, other than that, not a bad little, little figure. Luckily, Machine Wars guys aren't that coveted, so they're pretty damn cheap. So you can, you know, pick this guy up pretty inexpensively. Um, the only thing you gotta watch out for is the clear plastic of the rotor blades and the make sure he has his guns. Uh, I just wish he had more of his original stickers. Like I said, I'll probably just pop a couple Autobot logos on there and call it a day. But yeah, not a bad figure. Pretty cheap. So if you do want to collect uh, Machine Wars, it's an inexpensive line. So yeah, this has been the video review for, I guess, G1 Machine Wars Sandstorm. <laughs>